we've got uh, steel and concrete going in, and you're starting to see the outline of the actual stadium come out of the ground. So it's a pretty exciting time right now. We're on schedule to finish for uh, next fall, and uh, assuming no weather gets in our way in a significant way, we will make that. You know, we're really lucky with weather in this project in that um, we built in a number of rain days and so far we have almost all of them still intact and we're coming out of hurricane season without any events so we're really positive about the, the impact weather is not going to have on the project. Not only the weather, it's just the, uh, the, the team we're working with right now, the Gould Evans uh, designers and the Woodward design build team have just been working really hard to keep this on schedule and they've done a marvelous job. Well, you know, I've been at Tulane for 35 years, so first of all, just to see the stadium come up, where it's coming up, uh, means a lot to me as an alum, and I know to all alumni and the students on campus. Um, to believe that we're going to have an on-campus stadium next fall, uh, after everything we've been through in terms of working through the city and working with the neighbors, uh, it really is a dream come true for Tulane and I think for all of our constituents. You know, typically coming out of the ground here and getting all the piles driven, we had to drive 4,000 piles just to get the surface uh, part that you're starting to see now, and that took us almost two and a half months. So a significant amount of work went into that. And then we've, we're going to lay uh, probably, I'm going to say anywhere about 40 or 45 tons worth of concrete um, over the next few months, and then uh, another 70 or 80 tons worth of steel is going to go up. So you're just throwing some numbers out at you. It's just a very hard but very impressive as it comes out of the ground, but certainly not trivial. What we've got now, the, the structure is going in that's going to support the actual seating area. So around later November or December, you'll start seeing the seating go in and then the walls will start being filled in so by the spring we, we should be pretty much enclosed so we can start doing the interior work. It's hard to imagine what it's going to feel like that first game to walk out um, on the field to be in the stands and to really know that after everything we've been through for 35 years I mean my first year at Tulane was the first year we didn't play uh, on campus so um, it's coming full circle, coming back home, and um, it's going to be a really wonderful day for all Tulaneans. I don't even think our students quite know yet what this is going to mean for them. Uh, the experience those who are on campus right now are going to have of it, you know, celebrating uh, with the community and with alums uh, on a weekly basis is going to be something that generations haven't experienced. So I think it's going to be wonderful for our students and it's going to build a sense of belonging and community and hopefully they'll carry that forward when they're alums. I mean moving to a new conference, uh, the facilities that we put in place, Tulane is really well positioned to become um, much more of a prominent force in intercollegiate play across the country. Um, I think the stadium was sort of the catalyst that, that got all of this going. Um, moving to a new conference is uh, really a big step for us in terms of giving us much more national prominence. Um, television opportunities with this conference are tremendous and I do think it's going to raise the bar in terms of how Tulane is seen nationally uh, in intercollegiate play.